When people think about software, whether it's on their phone, their computer, or other devices, it's common to think about the software itself, its features, the usability of its UI, or whether it's buggy or slow. But what most people don't tend to think about is that the software they're using is imagined, designed, built, tested, and updated by people. So whatever faults a given piece of software might have probably has a lot to do with how well the people in those teams maintaining that software work together. Whether their skills complement each other, how overworked they might be, whether they're using the right tools and processes, or even how well they can sustain being productive over time. All of these aspects matter. My name is Bogdan Vasilescu and I, along with my research group, am interested in these types of socio-technical questions, especially as they relate to communities of people developing open source software. Why open source? Because it's changing the way we build software. It's a worldwide phenomenon. You don't need to be employed by a big software company to do open source. You don't have to be in a particular location. You don't need a particular degree. People can be anyone and anywhere and they can get together online to form these virtual communities building open source. And what's more, open source is everywhere. There's millions and millions of open source packages freely available online and virtually every piece of software developed commercially uses some amount of open source code. Because of open source and platforms like GitHub, we can now study the innermost workings of a software development project as they occur. And this way we can learn much more about the interplay between developers and teams and what they're producing together. But for all its potential, open source faces some real challenges that need to be addressed. For example, did you know that only around 5% of open source contributors identify as women, while the tech industry averages around 20%? So what is it about these online platforms for open source that makes them so exclusive and what can we do to reverse this trend? Obviously, this has social implications, but it's also a really important question because research shows that higher team diversity correlates with both increased productivity and increased software quality. Or take the transparency of platforms like GitHub. At a glance, you can see how active a project is, who the people contributing are, or how many bugs have been reported. This information, what we're calling signals, is important when it comes to deciding whether to use a certain piece of open source software or whether to join in and contribute to it. But how reliable are these signals? How much do they tell about a person or a project? How much can you trust them? Are there other signals that could help people make better informed decisions? We've been taking on these problems. Using data science techniques, we're analyzing thousands and thousands of open source projects in different contexts and with different characteristics. And from this, we're learning what best practices teams follow when developing software, what characteristics make some projects more attractive than others to newcomers in diverse demographics, and how different signals are used to convey underlying qualities about these projects. All with the goal and hope of designing better collaboration platforms for open source developers, more productive, more welcoming, more sustainable open source communities.